it's clear. So uh, just go to your Synaptic Package Manager and you should be able to find the uh, case system log. Okay, so when you open that up, you will get um, a bunch of logs here. Uh, if you click on System Log, you can see here that um, all of these messages that I have are all information. You can see the blue icon here. It's just information. Now if you have any um, uh, red icons here, like a red with a white, cro uh, white uh, X on it, that will indicate um, um, an error. And uh, as you can see here, I don't have any errors so far. And uh, this is not the only log. Uh, there's uh, the kernel log. You can see how your kernel has been running. And uh, as you can see here too, I have no errors. Now, if your system was not running right, running right, and you were, uh, it was getting slow, or, or maybe it was freezing, you can come to these logs and take a look. And uh, most likely, if you're having problems, you're gonna find some errors here. And what you can do, you just double click the error. Well, in this case, it's just information. But if it was an error, it will give you some detail here. Sometimes those details might not make sense to you, but what you can do is just uh, copy that text and go uh, to Google and Google it and you most likely will find um, some answers for it. You will at least find other people that are having the same problem and if you cannot fix a, if you cannot find a fix for it, you can always uh, file a bug, a bug report and uh, maybe the Ubuntu guys will take a look at it and uh, get it fixed for you. Now you have a bunch of logs here, um, and uh, like maybe if you're having um, printing problems, if you go to logs here and go to uh, services, you will find cups here. Cups basically deals with with uh, with printing, and um, if you go to the cups log, I didn't really um, use the printer today, so it's not going to have anything in here. But um, if you were trying to print something out and um, uh, it wasn't working, you will most likely find an error here and it'll tell you what's going on. It'll either, uh, either tell you no uh, printer driver or could not communicate with printer or, or something of that sort. And again, if you don't understand what it says, you can just copy that error to um, Google and search for it. And that's... Uh, uh, pretty much it, uh, it for the logs and um, the next tool is um, gonna deal with uh, connection problems and uh, to start that tool you go system administration and uh, network tools so on this first tab here you get devices and uh, where it says network device you will notice that you have two, and if you have more than one network card, you're probably going to have more than that. But if you have one uh, Ethernet interface card, um, you will have these two here. You will have your uh, Ethernet interface, and you will have a loopback interface. Now what the loopback is, basically it loops every uh, all the communi communication that's going out of your card back into your card. So this is good um, for testing if your card is um, is working right. If your card is uh, sending data to the loopback and, and it comes back as uh, corrupted, then that would mean that something is wrong with your card. And you might need a new card. And um, right here, it said, where it says IP information, if you go to IP... Uh, here it'll tell you that the address is 127.0.0.1 uh, that with that um, address is uh, uh, is reserved for your loopback testing and to test your uh, card what you will have to do is go to ping and you want to type that address the loopback address 127 it's already there and you go to ping and it should send some packets and uh, it should get them back and here it says success successful packets so 100 percent 
we didn't lose any packets. That means that data was transferred and it was received with no problems. So if you had some um, some packet loss uh, in here, uh, it probably means that something's wrong with uh, with your card. Another thing is uh, here, if you're having trouble connecting to your router, um, and you know your router IP address, you can type it in here. And you ping it and see if there's a, a connection between um, your computer and your router. Now I got successful packets because there's no problems uh, with my connection. But if you had, um, uh, you know, uh, lost some packets, uh, that might mean there's a bad connection between your computer and your router. There might you might have a, a bad, uh, uh, you know, Cat5 wire or whatever you use, or um, your router is not working right, and it could be even your Ethernet card. And I showed you how to test that. Now if you have no packets at all, it could mean that you know the cable is unplugged or, or something like that. Uh, another thing you can use here is a trace route. If you're in a you know a relatively big uh, 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 network, if you uh, trace it, it will tell you it will go through all the routers in, in uh, in the way, like if you, tr uh, if you're um, trying to test if some server is up, it will go through all the routers between you and that server. And if any of those routers in the way are broken, it will fail at that router, and you will know exactly where where the problem is. And you can just go to that router and swap it or see what's going on with it. So these are some basic um, tools you can use to troubleshoot your connection and uh, and the way your uh, computer is running. I hope this helps uh, some people out there and uh, thanks for watching.